Hi everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today is special we are on the way to discover how to launch and play Looney Tunes World of Mayhem on PC, as you can see you are able to watch it on your screen. It will be possible to efficiently download and install Looney Tunes World of Mayhem so that we can enjoy playing the game on the Windows desktop or laptop with keyboard, mouse and large monitor. So it's time to have fun, let's go! Before anything else mates, to get started we need to launch our favorite web browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to that URL that I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type it, because there's the clickable link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived right here on our own website of Usatility, in which we have a nice precise demonstration on how to obtain Looney Tunes World of Mayhem on personal computer. We browse down a tad and simply click on the, download game on PC, button. After clicking on the link, we get to the site of LD Player which the Android emulator that we will launch to enjoy the game Looney Tunes World of Mayhem on our PC. As you can discover here we get several pros of running this emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. Then, we will proceed to download the Looney Tunes World of Mayhem by simply clicking on this button download Looney Tunes World of Mayhem on PC that you can see here in green. We then click on that button. Of course, the download action starts and ends immediately. Voila! Here is located the download. It is a file to execute. The following step is to launch the executable file, OK, then we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the system. We answered yes. I reduced the browser to view the installation software significantly better. The installation software is straightforward. It includes two choices, install, and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path does. We basically just click it. Therefore we observe that we, VE got here the path in which the emulator is going to be put in. If we choose to change this folder we have to click on this, browse, button, so we decide on another folder and install the emulator wherever we choose. To keep it simple, just set it where it is. I click on back, therefore I simply click on install. At this moment, before beginning setting up the emulator, it is also possible that it'll suggest us one or more application software deals to add on our desktop. Because I do not need any of these software programs, I simply just click each time on the reject button. Fantastic! The installation commences and it will go forward along with the download of those MB that happens to be shown on our computer screen. After you save it on your hard drive, it is likely to be slightly more or less MB. The data transfer speed could go faster or slower, based on your connection and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator servers. Immediately they're progressing rather fast. The download is has been successful, and so at this time it continues with the setup part. The installation is going to take a little bit more or less time based on the power of your computer or laptop, the more robust it actually is, the shorter the software installation time and or vice versa. If we combine the download and software setup stage it can take quite a while, so have patience. It has by now finished for me. At this time, the emulator has been launched immediately. As you can see now, down here, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right when it actually reaches the ending, the emulator will be started for the very first time. Indeed the emulator was already launched, here for the first time. And as a result LD Store is immediately launched, that is a sort of Google Play. This is simply not the most correct technique to set up the video game, and I will not endorse it, given that from time to time the LD Store sets up an outdated version of the game. Allow me to explain to you the way to install the video game making use of the Google Play and therefore I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we are required to begin doing is to navigate to the computer's desktop by simply clicking this software icon that I am indicating in green color. Before we keep going, as you can observe, it made two software icons right here on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player software icon is definitely the one we are concerned with. The moment we choose to operate Looney Tunes World of Mayhem on the laptop or computer, we double mouse click on this app icon and as a result use the emulator. The LD Multiplayer app icon is not about multiplayer or even anything at all such as that, in fact, it's an app icon that we might probably never ever work with. Let me perform the next phase, that is a requirement, and which is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. To execute this we will browse here to, System Apps, we click on. And we are going to simply click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is launched. In this case we need to log on. Presently as soon as we are right here, we have to begin doing the following step that is compulsory. So we mouse click on, sign in. At present it says, checking info. It may in some cases get blocked in, checking info, and so it does not advance. In this case, you could try to connect to your account after a couple of hours but it will surely probably be solved. At present we will type our email and password. 
The email needs to be a Gmail email and its associated password. For instance you could use the same email address you use at the moment in your YouTube account. Thus I am going to type in my data, and I will revisit as soon as I have completed it. That's all. Details inserted. And here is Google welcoming us and supplying us their terms of service. We should approve all of them by clicking, I agree. Then, it offers us to backup to the Google Cloud. You might let it selected and it will make a backup of your data on that device to Google Drive. I will not check it. You can make use of this option if you like. We click on accept. From now Google Play is launched by default and immediately. When the Google Play just isn't presented automatically and you have no clue how to run it yourself, I assist you how to do this. Firstly is to navigate to the emulator desktop by hitting this app icon noted in green. So now we go to the system apps folder. And we click the Play Store icon. OK. We're there inside of Google Play. What we are going to accomplish right now is go here to, search for apps and games. And then we are going to research Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. Presently there we get it, we can select the first result. At this point we get the video game. Let's quickly press right here on the, install, button that I'm just showing now in green color. This will begin the setup. Right now it would download on your desktop or laptop and set up the game. It typically takes a little while or perhaps it could be amazingly quickly. It again all is determined on our connection to the internet. This has already ended installing. Back to the emulator desktop by hitting the following button that I'm showing in green, so that you can launch Looney Tunes World of Mayhem for the first time. You are by now on the emulator desktop, then we're preparing to just click on that fresh Looney Tunes World of Mayhem icon that was generated. Your video game is launched for the first time. Now there we get it. I can press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to comment on the sound level of the emulator. It's right here. We have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we are not going to count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of this emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the max, we should switch on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. That is the very first one, we mouse click on this particular software icon which I am basically pointing out in green color. Then the screen is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In case that we really want to run the video game using all the screen, we hit this particular icon. And we'd without a doubt be enjoying the game app in 100% screen setting. To stop the full screen setting, click the F11 key. And we'd currently be in regular display setting. From now, I am starting to demonstrate you the computer keyboard mapping that is really quite cool. This step we may be in a position to use the game application far more effortlessly. The first point is to click on this software icon. And at this time there you will be able to complete the required configuration settings. Let me put the normal configuration, however if you choose to adjust it, you may well do so with no problem. I have this chance to comment that once in a while, when commencing the game app a dark screen appears, if it's so and you discover the black screen and this emulator is unable to commence, I comment a plausible solution. We should browse here, to the cogwheel. In your emulator options, in the advanced selection we get a range of resolutions. That is the image resolution that we have at this time picked as favorite choice and we must select any of these additional resolutions, for example that one below. We opt for it and after that click on save. It may require us to restart your emulator and when rebooted, most probably the emulator will launch and your black display will vanish. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is totally in our language. Once in a while it occurs that your emulator is started in the wrong language, such as, in Japanese. And so to set it in the correct language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus here throughout additional options, we just click on the, language, drop down. We can easily choose the language we wish, Italian, Japanese, etc. As soon as the language is determined, we could save, the emulator would reboot, and the game application, the next time we run it, will also be in the picked language. So now, there's another thing that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will get a message from Google saying that a completely new equipment has been associated with our Google account. It will certainly question us if we're the ones who have associated with that device. That's right, we may not worry, considering the fact that emulator is simulating in Google Android device. And in order to discover which electronic device is currently being emulated, we return right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. So we go here to the, model, selection. And right here we learn that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for my training. I anticipate you enjoyed it, specifically that you thought it was handy. In that case, give it a superb thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and any remarks, questions or suggestions, put them in the comment box down below. 
You can also comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams every once in a while, you get it down below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Simply click any of those online videos that happens to be appearing on the screen and see you in the upcoming training videos. Bye!